part B. It says the incomplete table below shows the result obtained by 200 boys and 250 girls on a Spanish examination. <coughs> a girl is chosen at random. Determine the probability that she receives a grade 1. Hmm. Alright. So remember, probability, one way to look at it, is the total or the number of items that you're interested in the number that you want over the total available all right now what you're looking particularly to choose is a girl what she use a grade one now what's the total available well this question it wasn't really that clear it seems as if they have the girls and boys separated and you're choosing among the girls because it did not say a student is chosen at random what's the probability that it's a girl who got a grade one it says a girl is chosen at random so the total available seems to be 250 instead of the total number of students which would be 450 right so i'm going to use it 250 you have the girls alone and you're choosing one of them at random a girl is chosen at random so a girl is chosen at random determine the probability that she receives a grade one so in this case what you have is how many girls achieve receive grade one 62 over how many of them are available 250 all right 62 over 250 you can cancel it down so 62 over 250 is going to be 62 divided by 250 equals 0 0.248 0 0.248 you could have it as a fraction what is 62 over 2 let's do it as a fraction 62 over 2 is what? 31. The same as 31 over, it is 250 over 2, 125. 31 over 125. Which is the same as 0 0.248 is the probability. You could say 24.8%, but one way to put it, 31 over 125 or 0 0.248 is the probability here. 